Hey there, YouTube. Today, we are continuing the Alexander Raid into one of the best parts of it. We're facing off against the Voltron robots in the Burden of the Sun, and also discussing the finer points of soda and alcohol. I hope you enjoy the video, and if you do, please like and subscribe. Enjoy. Shh. Hunter truly believes soil, soul of lost lovers sleep in Metal Giant. Madness. The Backtrace does not doubt resolve to rescue Roundrox. Oh, Vidofnir? Give, give, it a, give it a second. Give it a second. Go with me to deep into Midas and deactivate second core, but do not underestimate Illuminati. Day and night, they bring supplies into the Steel Fortress. Bactris suspects Illuminati are tinker-making new weapons. The Burden of the Sun. I mean, it pretty much should just be smashed for everything. Final Fantasy is just full of beautiful people. Oh, I love that emote. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's so many emotes there. Those are all really well made, too. So... Definitely no stream tomorrow, because technically I will be already streaming tomorrow in a couple hours. Um, but I will be streaming on Monday. We've got three red, red mages in this party. Just if any emotes you got over time, nice. Already starting off with a banger. Um, there's some way to unlock them that isn't through the story. You have to look it up. Um, if you, actually, in the, uh, our, in our emotes, the boomer emote, my wife made that one. Which I'm surprised people don't spam at me more. It's a good insult. Yo! Those are all from, um... Oh gosh, what's that Pokemon fighting game called, dear? The... The Tekken one? Pokin. Those are Pokin emotes. It wasn't a very subtle name. No, it was not. I remember having a demo of that back when I worked at GameStop. That was fun. This is, like, the easiest fight ever. Is this it? Discord? Oh no! He turned into a Discord mod! Oh no, he's flying away. Okay, I'm about to say. Oh, those are Prime Emotes? Interesting. I think Farmsy has a lot of really good Pokemon themed emotes. One of my personal favorites is not in my frequently used. Why? There we go. I love this emote. Oh, don't. Oh, he's so fleshy. Get the fleshy cap away from me. What right does this have to slap so hard? Don't punch me. Okay, I, th I think the ones that aren't, aren't red are the ones I want to be on. I don't have my dash in. <laughs> Ow. 
Don't know what hit me. Don't worry, I got myself covered. You don't need to focus on healing the DPS. Oh, bye. Oh my god. Are they gonna fuse together? Yes! 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 Oh my god! I'm so happy! This is the happiest I've ever been. What's up, dear? Ooh, we have Bowser? Hell yeah. Bowser's one of my favorites. Magnet Warrior? Oh my god, isn't that a Yu-Gi-Oh reference? Are you Yu-Gi-Oh referencing at me? What well, actually kind of wild? The um, manga for Yu-Gi-Oh is really good. Really, really, really good. Oh, you've read it? Nice. Oh, no. You're saying it, it is a Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Sometimes I forget that there's a delay on stream because I'm just chatting with friends. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, you responded to this thing. But really, it was 30 seconds ago. <laughs> Come on! I should use my big red mage build up there. Ow. Oh, no, don't, don't! I wanted you to stay as cool. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. What are we doing? This is insane, this is insanity. Are we, are we fighting you or just dodging your freaking solar beams? Okay, run away. Oh god. There's a laser. You use great. I played that shit all the time when I was a kid. I I played by the same rules as the show though, which were no rules. The show didn't um exactly know the rules of Yu-Gi-Oh! I want to play Smash but Final Fantasy. I feel like you probably have more fun with Final Fantasy, especially considering the frickin' netcode. Take a screenshot of that. That was a cool pose we all had there. Uh, paint. Just save that screenshot for a bit. Uh, if they if they give me raw gear, then I'll take it. If not, then I don't care at all. Kind of bad smash anyway. So am I. I'm not very good even a little bit. The only smash I like to play was um. Like, super casual smash items on. Dude, drunk smash back in the day used to be so much fun. Back, back when I was still drinking. Dude, you wrap the stage a lot. You also like playing Charizard and doing, like, the X thingy. Like, what's it called? Flare, flare Blitz? Yeah. Oh, no, I like to do rock smash. Second core, I do believe. Once it's out of commission, Alexander won't be going anywhere. Oh, Iron, I didn't even see you come and chat. Oh, my gosh. There was so much emote spam, I missed you. <laughs> How you doing today, Iron? How did your stream go? Dayan, would that I could see you just once more. I was super into Smash at 4 at 800 hours in that one. Jesus. 
someone to join chat. Yeah, Iron Aggro up a little bit there. He was, he just got into chat. Iron's one of my friends. He ran me through Coils of Bahamut. Farewell, my love. I wish I had a shout-out command. I keep trying to get it to work, but it never works. Um, you guys, please go give Iron a follow. He is fantastic. Right now, he's playing the new Horizon game, and we'll be playing Elden Ring once it comes out. What do I think of Heaven's Word? Heaven's Word is so fucking good. I've gone through all of the MSQ so far, and now I'm doing all the raids. And I made the foolish decision to declare that the stream doesn't end until I beat Heaven's Word. I've been streaming for almost six hours now. <laughs> And I haven't even started the, um, the Alliance Raids. Phew. Oh. <laughs> I have a really bad feeling about a character based on the line I heard from your stream yesterday. Ugh. Yeah, I, I hope that we didn't spoil too much. I was at the end of Heaven's Ward, so. It'd be, if you beat Horizon by then? I don't know. I don't know if your lust for freaking Heaven's Ward can hold you back. I went 12 hours today. Oh my gosh. Damn, boy, that's some stamina. I'll probably be going for a while, too. Too frightened to face this alone, I see. Not that I blame you. We all know what Tulail did to you last time. Clap them cheeks. Scared for Papa Limo? Yeah, there was some events around Papalimo. <laughs> to usher in future has been writ. Even strong as Gobby must sometimes pretend to be weak and let enemies win. No, uh I beat your ass fair and square. Oh, pretended, were you? <laughs> I suppose losing the core was all part of your plan. Don't make me laugh. You know as much about the future as we do. Quick thing knows all. For example, Quickthink's nose one among Uplanders carries true fragment of Enigma Codex. Easy to know if it's death. To be fair, I don't really either. It seems that the game is up, Biggs. There's no hiding the truth from Quickthink's. Very well. I admit it. I have the fragment. But I won't be handing it over to the likes of you. You don't remember who Papa Limo was? Shh. Shh. That might be a spoiler for me too, then. Oi, Wedge, didn't you hear him? He knows all. Which means he knows that what you're carrying is a worthless rock, while I've got the genuine article tucked away in my small clothes. Is that the codex in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me, Biggs? Seriously, the name tells me nothing. Well, you do hate Lalafell, and he is a Lalafell, so. Quake thinks I already knows conclusion to Uplander's childish games. Maybe that's why you don't know. You are pretty blind when it comes to it. Lalafell hater. <laughs> Wish I could, like, give you a nickname in stream. Be like, Lena, Lalafell hater. He's coming for me. <laughs> eh? What's he waiting for? Long ago was the outcome decided. Uplanders think they are victorious, but luck is no friend to them today. Lala shit's over place in your head. Damn. Oh. What? All you had to do was hold on to it, dude. And now, a name of codex belongs to the Illuminati. All pieces fall into our hands. Literally, it literally fell into your hands. Oh, 
Okay. It almost fell in his hands. If you weren't too lazy to reach it out. Far as I can make it out. The thing's is good to work in order. No damage, no signs of tampering. I can only think of an injury fluctuation that did it. Just bad luck. What a convenient plot twist. <laughs> yeah, that tends to happen sometimes. He said they're so sure he can't reach his nose. Where even is his nose? Bad luck? You're saying it was pure chance that the platform stopped at that exact moment? Then what about quick things? There's no way he could have predicted something like that. The odds would be infinit infinitesimal. Also got to meet my favorite character earlier for half a minute. Which one? Well, however he did it, the fact remains that he did. But, but that doesn't mean we just stand for it. When someone takes something from you, you just have to take it back. True, I guess. The post credits Viceroy. Oh, oh. I thought that was the, um... The guy with the fancy hat. It's not him? I don't think they named him yet. No, they didn't. He had a really cool mask, though. To be fair, it's hard for me to keep up with who the Garlemalds are. They haven't really introduced many of them. Psh, do I just forget about something? Matters are too urgent for such foolish doings. What? Tongue flaps of Uplander make Bactris almost laugh. Uplander claims to already have stopped core and lost fragment to quick things? Psh, look here, Uplander. Bactris has brain case like Steel Trap, catching all heard things, all seen things. And he saw Uplanders leave but few moments ago. Bactrid's sense of something is amiss. But it is impossible to return so soon if Uplanders' tale is true. Why, Treasure Hunter also makes such claims. Bactrid does not know. Go, Uplander. Train Tongue Flaps with Mide and together think of explanation. Yeah, Mide, what happened? <laughs> Have you been able to make any sense of Bactrid's account? According to his version of events, we would scarcely have time to reach the core, unless I shut it down. But we were all there. We all know what happened. It's a timey-wimey, fucky-wucky situation. Really oopsie-woopsie in the time stream. Are you sure he's not just confused? Maybe he got lost in all the data of his and forgot the time. I'm afraid not. That is, unless the goblin standing watch near Alexander was also confused. His report corroborates back tricks. No, something else is going on here. I'm certain of it. The question is, what? If we assume for a moment that the goblins' accounts are true, then hardly any time has passed since we entered the barrier on Alexander. Time stopped. Impossible. Impossible? You mean that quick thing's prediction... All right, what, what haiku do you want me to write on, Nest? I mean, that quick things is predicting exactly what's going to happen in the call room. Hard to say it, but maybe he wasn't talking out of his ass. If time doesn't work the same in there, maybe he saw the future. The theme is Red Lily. Is that a reference? Red Lily? Or just, like, the concept of a red lily. Oh, just the flower itself. Let me look up a picture of the red lily. Dappled sun blossoms glisten red through morning dew. Memory of warmth. There we go. There's your haiku. Let me pop in the Discord real quick. Hmm. There may be another explanation for that. There is a device deep within Alexander capable of performing complex mathematical calculations. It's not outside the realm of possibility that it can be used to predict the outcome of simple events. Using mathematics to predict the future. Now even if it could believe that, it wouldn't explain the business with Bactrix. True. Sweet. See you in a second, Naft. Biggs is right. Perhaps the presence of a primal somehow disrupted the flow of time within the barrier. It's only a theory, of course. A far-fetched one at that. But it might go some ways towards explaining recent events. Oh, no. 
to be clear, you are implying that the Illuminati are aware of this temporal disruption and have been using it to somehow gaze into the future. Very well. If you're willing to accept that, why not go further? Might it not be the case that they have found a way to bend time to their will? Jesus Christ! Goblins bending time to their will is a wild concept. By moving back and forth in time, the Illuminati could effectively manipulate the present however they saw fit. They would even remain one step ahead of us, or every effort doomed to fail from the first. Now that's a sober theory. Well, it's only a theory, right? There's no point panicking just yet. Wedge, give the chief a call on your link, Pearl. Why don't you? If anyone knows how to untangle this knot, it's him. Chief is me. It's about Alexander. We've known something strange about the time inside the primal. Uh, what, uh, no, not our time inside the primal. The time. I I mean time itself, Chief. It might be best if you just came here. Aye, aye. Await your arrival. How are things going? Still doing Alexander? <laughs> I haven't even started on the side stuff yet. I have not. We've just been plowing through Alexander so far. The freaking music in Alexander has been bumping and bopping. Aloe figured. Yeah, I may have made a um, a hasty decision at the start of the stream. And I may... I should have probably looked into it a bit. I was like, ah, eh, I finished the MSQ. It's just a couple raids and some dungeons. Can't be that bad, right? I believe I'm on number nine. It's almost 4.30 a.m.? What? For you? I thought you said you were not that far away from me. Unless I'm confused. Yeah, yeah, I've been informed that as well, Iron. It's, this might be a, a pretty, lo pretty long stream. Be streaming for no one at some point. Europe, Austria? Okay. So it's 4.30 a.m. for you right now? If so, go to freaking bed, Lena. Is that a heated debate I hear? Boys, you started, with, started without me. Now, what was that you were saying over Ling Pearl? Something about running out of time? Sid insisted I accompany him. That would have come even had he not. Matters have taken a turn for the worse, I gather. You're paying for this content, Drew. Drew, Drew. You can say that again. I mean, you're giving me... What a... To a sub and then bits. bits is like a hundred bits that's like a buck yeah you're definitely paying for your time then A is the start of the good Alexander raids I don't know about that honestly the, the one with the um the goblin that has the like potions you have to spray out was really fucking cool I think that might have been seven or it was eight I'm just dumb the fight we just did with the freaking power ranger robots that's amazing the etheric fluctuations are akin to those I observed shortly before the primal's awakening the absence of a functioning core, its form is dissipating, albeit slowly. That one's good too, but the, most of the others are just meh. Yeah, the, the first few, the first like six I went through, it felt like I was just walking down a hallway. Oh, you lost your first badge, chilled. Oh well. Ishtola, would you mind lending me your goggles for a moment? I can't hurt to have a second opinion. Oh my god. I was not prepared for that. What in the seven hells? The Aether pouring from the primal is flowing backwards, as if time were passing in reverse. Welcome back, Ness. LSD be like. I wouldn't know. The strongest substance I've ever used is marijuana. I'm uh, I'm the biggest white bread person. I didn't have my first alcoholic drink till I was 22. That cannot be. Such a phenomenon is wholly without precedent. Knowing so the little of the primal's capabilities, however, it would be remiss to discount the possibility outright. If it is as we fear, then this very moment Alexander could be undoing our efforts to shut down its cause. All our labors would be for naught. Never use a drug unless you count alcohol. I do. Alcohol is is a rough substance sometimes. I've definitely thrown up a lot with alcohol. 
does Austria have like some very loose laws? I, I cannot I can't remember exactly what the laws are in other countries, because well I'm American and we don't learn those things. Yeah, I mean I'm here to support you, Nest. Definitely if you need someone to like be like a kick in the butt, be like, hey, don't do that. Right here. So don't. Little sassy man. Legally drinking at 16 or even 14 with parents' allowance. Oh my gosh. Getting crunk. Ah, the treasure hunter of whom we've learned so much. You seem unperturbed by our outlandish speculations. Was this perchance the subject of Wedge's communication? You gotta pee or something, Wedge? Why are you doing the pee pee dance? Gods help us! If there's any truth to this, it won't matter how many cores we disable. The Illuminati would simply undo any damage we cause. Then what do we do, Chief? How do we even begin to fight something like that? I'm gonna be taking all the alcohol from me very soon, so it won't be an issue. Definitely. That's, that's a good bet to have some supportive friends that are wrong with you. It's the unstuck balls from thighs dance. True, I've had to do that a bunch. You used to work in landscaping? Whew. When I used to work at a frickin' um, warehouse? Oh my god. That was definitely a dance I did often. To erase the past. To return to a clean state. Could Dalen have known? Ironically, also, I mean, that makes he's even a better friend. He got you what you wanted as a good present, and then he realized that you need something better. So he is helping you get rid of it. I don't know. I think with shipping, <laughs> might be rough right now. Oh. Ouchie, ouch. I've never been a vodka man myself. I like whiskey and rum. Pshk. Preparations for restoration of Enigma Codex are complete. Calculations show margin of error for future readings at 0.03%. Bug with iced tea. You know, I've not had that before. I do love me some iced tea. Pshk. Foolish Gabi. When future has decided, there is no error. There is no failure! Listen well, chosen of the Illuminati. Because you don't taste the alcohol, you only you have no feeling of it anymore, and you just end up fucked. <laughs> that is dangerous. That is very, very dangerous. My wife um, likes to get this drink, the Long Island iced tea with blue curacao from this restaurant near us. And it comes in this 32-ounce jug. Back before she realized how powerful it was, she got crunk on it. That's true, yeah. She was playing Fall Guys while absolutely shit-faced and got her first win. Yeah. It is rough. Definitely, Nest. I have a similar thing with sugar. I have a very, very big sugar addiction. If I go without sugar for a bit, like, I can feel it in my shoulders, the tenseness and the pain. I get very, um, I get very grumpy. At last, all pieces are in place. No longer must wise suffer foolishness of unwise. Time has come for the backstrike. Inferiors will make way for perfect world, or die. Now, restoring Nimma Codex. Soda is a big thing. Soda used to fuck me up. Luckily, I ended up just deciding to not like soda, weirdly. I don't know if I like, grew out of the flavor of it or something. But, yeah, soda's rough. That's just... It's just water with calories. It's it's not exactly the most healthy. Oh no. The almighty butt plug. Me too, Nest. It's very hard. My therapist said the most important thing is to not be... How to phrase it? To understand that you will not be perfect. And that... When bad things happen, don't let it become a spiral. Because oftentimes, you know, when you end up getting another drink or eating another cake or whatever you do that to, like, relapse, 
you then go, well, what's the fucking point? I failed. And then you just go further and further. Just understand that it's a hiccup on a road and not a slide backward. But taste good? I'm saying, that's why I have a problem. I love cakes and cookies so much. It tastes good. Maybe you know that soda stream flavored juice. I used to drink that without the soda. Oh, just concentrated flavor? That's just drinking syrup. Lena, <laughs> oh my gosh. Fair, I don't like, I don't really like cake much either. I like specific kinds of cake. I like very dense cakes. Um, it's fucking amazing. I imagine you're drinking just straight, straight syrup. I, my favorite thing in the world is a chocolate chip cookie. My wife makes the most delicious, delicious chocolate chip cookies. That's how she got me to date her. That and manga. She brought me a copy of her on High School Host Club. To entice me like a fishing lure. Now Alexander Zubinati is control. Soon will cores disabled and my uplanders be disabled no longer. Reverse time. Be careful, Nest. The more you take away from yourself, the harder it's going to be. So, if you feel your... Here's what you should do. If you feel yourself craving alcohol and you've stopped drinking soda, maybe just have a small glass of soda. And hopefully the lesser of two evils will help you. Yeah, it's, it's rough when you make like a sweeping decision. I've made that so I've made decisions so many times. Once power flows to third core, Alexander will be fully operational. And with third core will its true potential awaken. Wings of time will unfurl. And all of history will be at mercy of Illuminati. Chosen ones will amend mistakes of past and reshape world into perfection. That's a good idea, dear. Tea would be a good substitute. You can control the amount of sugar that goes into it too. So it's still, it's still like the oral drinking of something flavorful, but you can control the sugar intake. Well. To make it less strong. It's, it, you can't really... It's difficult. <laughs> In a different dimension, I won't touch myself to late. <laughs> It'd be like that. Remember the first time I tried Mountain Dew Baja Blast and I thought it was disgusting? I started choking on it. So now they never put in the syrup, so I was just drinking carbonated water? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's really funny, Iron. Got hooking up freaking... Um, syrup to soda machines is the most annoying thing. <laughs> I used to do this shit all the time. These heavy ass boxes. They have to punch yeah, them. literally, you have to punch them to open them. They're perforated a bit, but not enough that you can push in. And you can't use a blade because the cardboard's so thin, you'll just cut it. I had made that mistake. So you have to actually punch the case to pop it in a bit, pull it out, then you get this little, like, nozzle nipple pulled out, screw it on, and it shoots up through the ceiling, the syrup, through the ceiling to a machine that then, you know, mixes it with the carbonated water. It's horrible. It sucks I want to stop these things right now because Mountain Dew just announced an alcoholic beverage. I know, right? It's like the two worst things combined. At last, prophecies of a name of Codex will be fulfilled. And quick thinks all thoughts will rule as king of world, of correct world. Chosen ones, menders of history, be proud to serve as builders of this paradise. Is that a salute? Are they saluting? Little stubby hands? You don't have Mountain Dew there? For the best. The only Mountain Dew I like is Baja Blast. That's only if I'm eating Taco Bell. <laughs> Oh, dude, water is my favorite thing in the world. I love water. I, I drink probably five to six of these steins full of water a day.